Saturday. Every single day. The day I don't flush, I feel like teeth are not clean. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Hi, I'm Esther, and as you can see, I floss every day. What is one? <laughs> What is one thing you do every single day? I mean, maybe you brush or floss your teeth or listen to a certain band on the way to school. So what is it? What is the one thing you do every single day? Think about it. Got it? Okay, hold on to that. Some of you probably have some really common answers while others might have some really random ones. Now, well, no matter what it is, you're actually thinking about the same thing. A habit. A habit is something you do all the time. And it's part of your routine every day. Here's mine. So whenever I eat something yummy, I like to do a little jig. And I mean, it's, it's something that I don't think about it at all. Like I don't plan for it, I'm just eating. And if it's super jammy, I'm just like jamming on my own and so badly that now my kid is doing it too. I don't know. <laughs> so that habit didn't seem to be like a big deal, right? I mean, habits like eating breakfast or brushing your teeth or scrolling through TikTok but not seem like a big deal. But there's some habits that can make a really big difference in your life and in your faith. See, God wants your faith to grow. And some habits can help you connect with God as your faith grows. Now maybe you're thinking, great, because I really want to grow my faith and I want to find ways to connect with God and learn more about God. Or you might be thinking, connecting with God, why would I want to do that? I don't even know what I think about my faith yet. So how could daily habits that can help me connect with God actually change anything? Or maybe you're somewhere in the middle. You believe in God and you're curious about your faith, but you're not exactly sure what to do next. You're not sure what habits could help you grow in your faith or if connecting with God is even possible. No matter what you're thinking right now, I hope you stick with me. Because the truth is, we all have questions when it comes to the things that help us connect with God. Maybe for you, you feel really connected to God, so you don't have a lot of questions about growing your faith. You do things every day that help you learn more about God, trust God more, and feel God's presence in your life. Well, if that's you, don't tune out for the next few minutes because what we are talking about today can help you grow even deeper and stronger in your faith. Or maybe you don't feel connected to God at all. You've heard that God is out there. Maybe you even believe that God is real, but that doesn't make you feel any more connected to God. Just knowing or believing doesn't change much for you. So why even try to do anything else? Or maybe you don't feel like you need to connect with God or grow your faith because honestly, it seems like a lot of work. And it feels like you're going to have to add a long list of things like reading the Bible, showing up to church, praying all the time, and more things to your life. And you already have to do a lot of stuff to get through the day. How could you add more things to your life and how can that actually help you? Maybe this doesn't seem like a big deal to you right now because everything in life seems to be going fine. When things change and times get tough, that's when you'll make connecting with God an everyday habit in your life. But for now, you're good. Or maybe you're wondering what exactly all of this connecting with God stuff means. You know you can find God at church when you show up on Sunday, but what about everywhere else? Are you supposed to read the Bible all the time or pray every single hour or listen to only worship music or just be friends with other Christians? What habits do you have to do in your life to help you connect with God and grow your faith? And how do you know they're actually working if you give them a try? All of these are great thoughts. And if I'm being honest with you, I would tell you that I felt all of these things at least once in my faith journey so far. Because connecting with God can feel hard to understand. And when I hear that there are habits I can develop to help me do that, I can feel a little overwhelmed. Do you? But remember, God wants your faith to grow. And because that's true, I think God doesn't leave us alone to feel confused or overwhelmed or unsure of what we should do. I think God actually gives us some help to understand what kinds of habits can help us and why those things are so important. Here's how I know this is true. Thousands of years ago, God gave some guidance on this topic to a group of people who were struggling to find ways to grow or stay strong in their faith. God often shares wisdom and guidance through other people. And that's exactly what happened here. The words we're going to look at today are actually written by an unknown author. 
but they believed in God and follow God. And that person wrote to encourage other believers to find habits that will help them connect with God and grow their faith. So let's take a look. You have been believers so long now that you ought to be teaching others. Instead, you need someone to teach you again the basic things about God's word. You're like babies who need milk and cannot eat solid food. For someone who lives on milk is still an infant and doesn't know how to do what is right. Solid food is for those who are mature, who through training have the skill to recognize the difference between right and wrong. Okay, let's be honest for a second. This sounds kinda weird, right? I mean, why in the world is this person talking about milk and solid food? I mean, what does that have to do with how we grow in faith? Well, the writer used milk and solid food to represent something else. In English language arts class, you call this a metaphor. That is when the writer says that one thing is actually something else in order to explain an idea. So in this metaphor, milk and solid food don't actually mean milk and solid food. Here, milk and solid food means the kind of daily habits that we have to do to grow in our faith. Milk represents the easy things that we can do to learn about God. They're the simple things that we can do to help us grow in our faith. And solid food represents the more complicated or even advanced things we can do to learn about God. They're the habits that we can develop that will really challenge and strengthen our faith. Why does this matter? Well, let's think about it the way the writer did here. How many of you have a younger sibling or a cousin or a new baby in your family? Or how many of you have ever spent time with a baby or have babysat an infant? If you have, then you know the babies need a lot of help. They can't do much on their own, including eat more than milk. In fact, they can't even drink milk on their own. They need someone to feed it to them. But adults are different. The more you grow and mature, the more you're able to take care of yourself. People who are grown enough to eat solid food are people who can feed themselves. So, what the writer was trying to say here is that developing and growing our faith can work the same way. When we are new to faith or just starting out in our journey, we need help in our daily habits. We're like infants in this whole journey, and that means we need guidance to grow. So, we wait for someone else to tell us when to connect with God, or what we should read, or how we should pray. We work on developing habits that can help us connect with God and grow our faith with a lot of help from other people. But as we grow up, we start to develop a faith of our own. We grow more and mature and more capable of taking responsibilities for the things that we believe and the way that we develop our faith. We make daily habits out of reading the, our Bibles. We show up for small group or ask questions about God or praying for ourselves or others. We do those things on a regular basis, not because someone told us to, but because we know there are things that will help us grow in our faith. In other words, they're the daily habits that can help us grow our connection with God. Because daily habits can grow your faith. If we want to grow in our relationship with God, we have to connect the dots and begin to do the things that will help us do just that. We have to take the steps towards growing our faith for ourselves. Why? Well, because our relationship with God is just that. A relationship. The more time you put in a relationship, the stronger it's going to grow. The more time we spend learning about, talking about, or connecting with God, the stronger our faith will become. That's why daily habits can be so important in our faith. They make growing our faith a part of our lives in a real, everyday way. They make connecting with God a part of our routine, and that's how our faith strengthens because daily habits can grow your faith. So where do we start? If we want to grow in our faith or even just learn more about God, how do we do that? Well, I think we have to start with making time to feed ourselves. <laughs> you know what I mean. Things like making the time to read your Bible, connecting with God every day, participating in a small group, and other things that will help you grow in your faith. Right now, you're growing up and maturing in life and in faith. And that means 
you're old. Old enough to start developing a faith of your own. You're mature enough to begin taking responsibility for your faith. But in order to do that, you have to make time to feed yourself every single day. Make the decision to set aside a time every day to connect with God and grow in faith. The goal is simply to take a step towards making a daily habit. Then, find a habit that works for you. This is going to look different for each of us because each of us has a unique relationship with God. Each of us is in a different place in our relationship with God, and we connect with God in different ways. So find a habit that really works for you. To help you think about what that might be, consider one of these things. Think about hearing from God. Maybe for you it's reading the Bible and seeing God at work in the pages of scripture. Maybe it's listening to worship music that really connects with you. Maybe it's going on a walk and seeing God in the world around you. Or try talking to others. Maybe you connect with God as you connect with others. This could be indirectly, like reading a book that helps you, or watching a TikTok video that inspires you, or following an account on YouTube that talks about God. Or it could be directly, like spending time with a parent or an older, wiser adult who encourages you. In fact, your group is actually a great place to start talking about your faith today. Then try talking to God. Maybe a conversation with God is really what will help you grow. Something like prayer is really great for you. You might pray out loud or write your prayers or thoughts in a journal, or even just keep up with a list of questions for God or about God. These are all great ways to talk to God and grow your faith. So think about living for God. Maybe for you is actions that help you connect. Serving other people, worshiping at church, or just doing the normal everyday things you do with God in mind. Those are great ways to live for and connect with God. Remember, you can feed yourself anytime, anywhere, and in any way that works for you. The goal is simply to take a step toward making a habit in your life because daily habits can grow your faith. I know there's some of you listening to all of this who are brand new to this whole faith thing, or maybe you don't even know if you really believe in God. If that's you, I'm glad you're here today. One way you can begin to figure out what you think about all of this is by trying to connect with God or trying to connect with people who know God. And your group is a great place to do that. Your group and your group leader want to help you begin to connect the dots. Today, I just want you to start. It doesn't matter how Christian you are or how far you've gone on your faith journey. The truth is the same for all of us. God wants your faith to grow. God wants to see you connect the dots and develop a faith of your own. And I want that for you too. I really want this, don't it? 